Batman with powers is like a machine gun that could also spew out blood and intestines. They are both unstoppable and the world would be in shambles if that happened. And we've seen Batman don superpowers before, but what if I told you he donned a superpower that required one thing only, his wacky and dark imagination. And that's exactly what happened when Bruce harnessed and misused his new superpower when he became an evil Green Lantern and Batman the Dawnbreaker. We get straight to the action. No build up or anything, just straight to the nuts to butts action in Earth Negative 32 with Bruce's parents dead on the ground like the toys from Toy Story and the killer running away. But in this world, instead of staying back and looking at his parents' corpse like a pussy, he decided to run and get the killer like a fearless warrior. And you know what the Green Lanterns love? People who have no fear. So a ring came by and welcomed the young Bruce to the core. And do you know what the first thing this dude does? He decides to straight up kill the killer on sight. But the ring was trying to hold him back like a condom because Bruce wanted to use lethal force. But that condom was more like a Ziploc bag because Bruce's willpower was just too much for the ring and he busted lethal force towards the dude and burnt him to a crisp. That's right, Chuckle Nuts. Bruce Wayne from the get-go killed someone. And trust me, it just gets even more juicier from here. After failing to bring his parents back, he decided that it was a good idea to stop anyone from doing that kind of harm again. So that's what he did. Commissioner Gordon would tell him the details in Gotham and Bruce would go to work cleaning up the mess like a school custodian. However, Bruce doesn't want to just beat them up and chuck them in the slammers. Use your brain dummies, you little fools, you pointless jesters. This man is a stone cold killer. Every bad guy he gets a hold of, he tangles with him or her to the death. And he especially crossed this line when he killed the penguin's henchman and brought the penguin to space and just fucking left him there to get pelted by some meteors. At this point, the commissioner had his nipples twisted enough. He told Bruce to stop all the killing and after revealing that he knows he's Bruce Wayne and he understands why he's like this, Bruce straight up kills him. And just remember that he had a daughter at this time, so Barbara is an orphan now. But guess who else had their nipples twisted even more than the commissioner? That's right, the entire Green Lantern Corps. Their minds were about to explode into two billion different pieces because of how unloyal Bruce was. But he didn't care. He just killed everyone like they were a bug beneath his boot. And after that, he heads into the Green Lantern for more power and he comes out of the Green Lantern closet more fresh than a baby's bottom and is now the Dawnbreaker. But his birth caused all the light in the world to turn into darkness. And now he was left in a void with another individual, however. And that man is the great Batman who laughs. And he proposes an offer. Join his little boy band and destroy the main DC Comics Earth. And in return, he gets his parents back. And just like that, Dawnbreaker joins his circus and heads off to the main Earth and gets straight to work. But later comes across the main Green Lantern, who he decks pretty quickly, but gets his bum saved immediately by Dr. Fig. And with this opportunity, Dawnbreaker pisses out darkness from his fingers and submerges all of Coast City into nothing but darkness. And yeah, that's about it. Subscribe and I'll see you later.